mass vandal in case they have more shrines, but I feel like they're just dead, right? Yeah, GG! Hello YouTube, or welcome to this fine day, and today we are going to have a look at Ishkana Broodmother and Historic Brawl this day games to win by milling itself, getting value, activating Ishkana, playing some spiders, and just winning the game. We have, it's basically a classic Golgari control shell with a spin of Spider Tribal in the back end, and uh, I don't think there's too much to say here. Uh, we have some new tech, we have some old tech, um... This is very similar to my old Rudstein video uh, I've put out uh, recently. I think that deck was pretty cool and now we just take the spider spin on it. A uh, card that I've been extremely impressed with in my uh, Samut deck, not Narset, Samut deck, is Shaper Sanctuary and uh, this little just one mana enchantment can draw you so many cards and certain matchups, for example Yawgmoth, it just instantly wins you the game because it's just drawing you so, so, so many cards. Um, yeah, you try this one out, it's, it's, a, it's a great card. Um, Anyways, uh, we have some Tribal Synergy, Herod's Horn, Bankers' Banner, we have some Self Mill, we have some cards that produce spiders even though they're not spiders, like Loth, Spider Queen, or just a good old spider spawning. Um, go get your Self Mill. Let's go. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video, and um, let's jump right into some gameplay. We are ready to play against Gisha. Sure. Seems like a hand two, three, four. Just play a big board. Having a lot of toughness on these spiders is just good against the commander because that means that pretty much no damage tramples through. So that's pretty great. Maybe we just go tapping at the window instead of two drop spider. Probably just better to play towards the board, especially if Ishkana comes down and buffs the board. Probably. Yep. Also, uh, I'm running Snowlands for the Faces Haven, but what I've noticed is that Aetherhub somehow really doesn't like the uh, new balance cards and I it's just a mess importing them to eat up um, let me tell like tell me if you experience some problems with it because I certainly haven't it's super super weird like I just put the nerf versions in my description and the import works fine but whenever I just put it on ether up then it just doesn't put the card in so I use the original version but then when you import it you have to change it back manually it's weird um, okay. Spiders, more spiders. Swing in. And wow, the, the board is getting buff. Like, now I just go with Ishkana and. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Swing in for 6 each turn afterwards. Environmental Sciences hitting the land drop, sure. That's fine. <clears throat> Most of the time it's just not worth playing environmental sciences. Like maybe you play it for fixing, but in general why not just play land? <clears throat> Even the tap land is better because what you do is if you don't have a um, if you have a tap land instead, you just tap one, it's cost one. But if you get an untapped land with this, it still like taps two lands. That makes sense. Somehow. Okay, spider travel go. We attack. <clears throat> Knight of the Stampede. Okay, sure. Um, with a Nizonia, I'm super inclined to just mull hard. Uh, yeah, mulch. All the lands. Rest into the grave. We go with a... We could go tapping at the window or Herald's Horn. I think Herald's Horn is just more mana efficient. Um, spider. Okay, and we just swing it with the team. Because they have four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, that's not enough to cast Gisha, because that costs eight. So 
so we can just swing in for now and then just hold off next turn so we can hey they're ramping they are ramping oh wow oh wow that is yo that's a really cool line of play raptor into more raptors and respect that now they can also just follow up with a five drop in theory that's huge yeah i think attacking time is over we go for just laid back chill time now you have something five drop anything nope nothing i don't know if that's scary or good for us um yep close wall let's do some tapping at the window oh that's a masked vandal does that matter kind of not um recluse Ooh, that's spider spawning that's pretty good um can exile guardian project at mulch or i could just go with the funnel web recluse I guess it's between Shaman plus like Ishkana activation or... Yeah, sure, let's activate Ishkana. Um, we exile the non-creatures. And we're drafting... Oh, that's a hatchery spider. Yep, we take that. And now we go with Glow Spore. And that's one more creature in the grave. Now, let's wait. Because they will swing in. And if they have, like, a Gishaf plus a fight spell, that might be really scary as well. Um, I feel like I want to cast Tapping at the window before I play one of these Undergrowth effects, but maybe that's too greedy. Uh, but my mana is, like, perfect for Tapping at the window into a Funnel Web Recluse. I, lo I just lose to that, I believe? Like, they now just go with... What? Wait. How much? That was... Yo. Okay, that is extremely scary. Extremely, extremely scary. Not gonna lie. Do I have something against that? I, I really need to deal with the Zakama. The rest is fine, honestly. It's just... It's the Zakama that gets me here, right? Um, if I block on Ishkana, like, the Raptor's Ishkana, then they can just kill it? So I just do it like this, and then two spiders die? Is that even worth it? Sure, I guess? Yep. They can also cut like these two if they ping one of them. But I feel like they just go with the karma and uh, kill the Herald Swan. Yeah, I need to find removal ASAP. Baleful Mastery would be great, top deck. What else? Yeah. Hmm. I feel like that is the one of the few scary cards in their deck as well as like something like a poly raptor maybe. Um kind of wanna Yeah, let's go with the original plan of tapping into Funnel Web Recluse, I believe. Oh uh, unlucky I guess. Yep, no attacks. And now they gain three life. I think they should just kill the glow spore shaman, shouldn't they? Yep, they are.
Yep, now double activation. Wait, how much mana? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Ishkana gets there. Oh, Sakama gets there against Ishkana. Uh, do we exile this now? No, oh, we put it back into the command zone. Man, we, we really need to deal with the Sakama. I'm kind of fine, Trey, in like killing the Raptors to give them another land. Because they can't activate Sakama now. <clears throat> Herald's Horn is pretty good in this deck. Uh, you don't really get spiders off the top necessarily, but Ishkana can just produce a ton of spiders, so you have multiple spiders in hand. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go with land, actually. Land. Yep. Oh, that's a... Uh... Yeah, sure. Then... Ishkana and Deathborn and Sprout. Yep, that seems fine. No attacks. We're just, like, chilling. We, we... We have to get to some removal. Um, if we kill one more of their creatures, and then, like, maybe Liliana can get there. Lilia, like, Planeswalkers in general are really good against Sakama because, like, Sakama deals with anything but Planeswalkers, really. <clears throat> this isn't over uh, by any means, it's just difficult. If Ishkana dies, I could just go. Okay. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, uh, help! If trample, I can go to one here. I could also go to not one. Let's go to not one, I guess. Three. Um. Mill. Uh, sure. And now, is Zoni time? I guess. Could also go with a hatchery spider into uh, maybe spider spawning, honestly. And next turn, like hatchery spider. Hmm. Like, this could put so much toughness on the field, doesn't it? I feel like Zoni is pretty good here. This allows me to draw one additional card. By sacrificing the creature. Wait, no, this is lethal now. Because they can just trample and haste this in, right? Yeah, so the spider spawning would have also kept me alive. But necess yeah. Not necessarily wouldn't be the game anyways. Yeah, like, yeah, I was done for. GG. We are ready to play against Kenrith, Returned King, and um Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a respectable little hand. It's a... Turn to Ishkana if I want to. But I don't see the point in doing so, to be honest. And we just lead on making green mana here. And go Snow-Covered Swamp. Cast Lockthwain. Just chill a bit. Get the green. Yep. Oh, there's the green, anyways. It's fine. And go with Canopy Spider. Just take it with slow. What do you have, opponent? Like Kenrith decks, you never know what they're going to play. Could be human tribal, reanimator, combo, like... Like, it... Kenrith decks are like a box of chocolate, right? You never know what you're gonna get. Hmm. The bonus is thinking, though. So, from the colors... Basically non-green right now. Which... Green is like the backbone of most combo decks in Canvas. With the tap untap shenanigans. Okay, they're just not doing anything. Interesting. 
Oh, I like the... I like the Stitcher Supplier with the Phyrexian Tower here. Let's start by swinging. Yep. Supplier. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to play a Masked Vandal here. I feel like I want to hold off for now. Keep a Baleful Mastery. Like, it could be Kenra's Shrines, and then I really want that Mass Vandal, right? Still no green. That's interesting. Um, I feel like... Just going to go Undead Butler, hold up Baleful Mastery again. And then next turn I can go Ishkana, sacrifice the Chisel Player, and then um, draft a card from the spellbook immediately. I think that's a good play. There's the green. Okay, so it is five color. It is Kenra Shrines! Hey. Okay, okay. Uh, they, yeah, they, that is uh, good to know. Um, now... Yeah, it doesn't matter in which order we do, do this, right? Yeah. Swing in. Frickson Tower. Sacrifice Supplier. Uh, Mast Vandal. Yep. Destroy the shrine that actually gives them bot presence, right? Mm hmm. Um, I believe you're the worst one in that graveyard. And we follow up with the Ishkana. Could have also just, like, done. Inquisition or something like that, but Inquisition doesn't take out their board wipes if they have any. And I wasn't supposed to even play Shkana in the first place because if they have board wipes, that could be sad. Okay, that's a wizard class, I don't mind that too much. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, they don't have blue for a counter spell up, so Bankers of Spanner on Spider. Uh, yep. And we swing in. If they had a saddle wreckage, that wouldn't have been the end of the world. <laughs> because then we just have a ton of mana available and of anchors on the field. Just to just redraw, so that's fine. I feel like they're just a bit... Um, um, they're a bit... Uh, color screwed? screwed? Uh, let's see. Sure. Land? No land. Yep. Uh, so let's swing in first. And now we... We could also go Dark Ritual Inquisition and just keep this around. Yeah, that's more damage on the board, right? So yeah, let's go with Dark Ritual Inquisition. What do we have there? Um, I... What do I care less about? I... I they don't have double blue. They have a Chaos Warp. Yeah, they're really not that great on lands right now. Uh, Assassin's Trophy is probably the worst card here. Yep, draw a card. Perfect. And yeah, opponent is under pressure. Like, the Chaos Warp costs them one more mana, but the Assassin's Rovi um, ramps me more. I feel like the um, important part is, like, they they need the mana right now, so yep, that's fine. Um, why are you not instant? Swing in. And then I feel like I can just go... Uh, yeah, I... Okay, I'm going to play this Mimic just so I have... Wow, oh, that's a 4-4, four, four. but uh, it's it's too powerful like if you subtract all the buffs, like just something to kill them. So they now need to deal with two creatures. I could also go with a Recluse, but then, uh, then I extended the board wipes a bit too much. And now if they board wipe, I can sacrifice the Butler and then uh, activate Ishkana two times to get a bunch of value, and I like that a bit more. 
Like this just, just plays around Chaos Warp as well as some um, port wipes, basically. <clears throat> And two mana four four is not too bad. It's not too bad. They hold up Chaos Warp. Um, they could get me here with like Counter Spell and Heroic to. No Counter Spell plus Heroic doesn't even save them one turn, right? No, it doesn't. Uh. Sure. Sacrifice you. Now I forced him to use the heroic here. Dice, you may exile it. When you do, return to a creature from graveyard to a hand. What do we pick? Masked Vandal is probably really good in general. I could also go with a blacks to. Wait, they care swap their. Oh, they care swap their own permanent to try to spike something off the top here. Um, don't want to move. I, I'm just going to hold up the mass vandal in, in case they have more shrines. But I feel like they're just dead, right? Yeah, GG. We are ready to play against Arcades. Yep, seems good. <laughs> Doesn't have too much going on, but killing Arcades early to buy us a turn is pretty good. Um, Loth is also just a decent card. Maybe some more low end would help in the curve. They're going with a wall, yep. And a lot of Icardi decks I've seen are a bit lower on the uh, land side because they have so many cheap walls. So maybe they don't even hit all the land drops available to them. And then we can punish that with an Assassin's Trophy. Just a 3-drop would be nice. Oh, okay. This... This is... If I just Assassin's Trophy that now, that would actually suck a bit. Um, because then they get mana. They don't have green here, that's also gr uh, the reason to- yeah, they don't have green, so I really want to avoid Assassin's Trophying them and fixing their mana for them. So, yep. Uh, just play with my commander. If they counter it, that's- that's- I, I don't care. Um, that's absolutely fine, I have nothing in the graveyard here. Wash away, sure. Wash away, opponent. The real cool cards are coming with Loth Spider Queen. Just creating a ton of chump blockers. Katie's, as expected. Could also... Uh, I kind of like Loth. Okay, now I don't like Loth anymore. Because now they have three attackers to actually kill it. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Rider. Sure. I will block your walls. I will trade my five drop for your one drop. I am not afraid. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to Assassin's Trophy them in response to them playing a creature, right? Um, or maybe in response to them attacking. That's even better, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, let's just get rid of this. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, Masked Vandal. Um. He like, that's pretty good. And I am going to... Masked Vandal, Grizzly Salvage, it says Trophy, yada yada yada. Um, going to target their bookcase though. Just to get a bit of... Power off the board. In case my Assassin's Trophy fails. Uh, no, it will fail because they have a Resolute Watchdog, right? Yeah, it will fail actually. That's pretty. Yep, and I'm going to take this opportunity to kill the Arcades. No mercy. We have to take the window that we get. Five five is just a uh, tad too big for me. 
Here. Piss off. Yeah, they're just going to... Okay, Dark Ritual Arcades. Mm -hmm. A completely reasonable play that allows them to just hold up counter magic, play cards with... like, get cards with Tome, all the good stuff. Uh, before I block, I want to see where this Grizzly Salvage takes me on. <laughs> Not very far, to be honest. Sure, just take it. I can just jump next turn, I guess. This is not great. Yep, metallic mimic. Then, a uh, spider. And then we can loth and get a bunch of three twos. So. And then if they get the counter spell, that would be extremely sad. Nope, they didn't. Nice. Uh, you reek with terror. Okay, okay. We kind of... Well, we didn't stabilize, but we kind of did. Like, if they attack with Arcadis now, I can just double block it, right? So that would be a plus for me. I can just chop the Phantasm. Um... I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's it's not the greatest spot to be in, but you know, maybe I stabilize. Maybe, maybe. And if Tomb of the Infinite was discovered, that would be way better. Well, obviously it would be way better, but you know, I just hate the pure randomness of it. Um, What permanent do we have? can return a land. I can also just go with Ishkana. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm going to lose this one life. Let's see. Oh, that's good. That That's really good, because now um, I can go with Ishkana into a Crawling Infestation to try to jump every turn. They counter Ishkana. Hmm. Okay, crawling. <clears throat> Man, uh, are we are we going to stabilize? That is the question. Um, I'm just a bit afraid of what they might have. If they get something like a Swords to Plowshares from the book, that wouldn't be necessarily the end of the world because I do get life from it. Um, hmm. There's the swords, as expected. But my blocks are getting awkward now. Grow spiral as well. Just need like some removal. If Acolyte would return any card, like a Timeless Witness, that would be great. Because that would mean I can have a Baleful Mastery or an Assassin's Trophy up for the Arcadus. Or a Baleful, because they can still just give something indestructible here, remember that. <clears throat> so let's see I can't just go okay wall of mist more uh, this, it's kind of fine it's kind of fine more defenders they draw cards from it they, they just have so many cards in hand um, they only have one blue mana up though that's pretty good okay uh, that doesn't create a wall immediately, so that's pretty good. Uh, but it does give them more land drops to work with. Do they remove Crawling Infestation? It's an okay card, I say. Spider Spawning would be a card that I really want to see here. Okay, that's a wilt. I feel like they won't attack. Okay, that's, that's good, that's good. Uh, draw first. Oh, yes. Ooh, Brute Wither. Yep, get you out. It could go... Wait, how much mana is that? Go with this. Brute Weaver, and then I have two more mana up. 
It doesn't necessarily get anything back, doesn't it? Maybe it's just like Broodmother play land and then exile something from the yard. So I play the land first just so I can, like if they try to remove it, I can activate it in response here. Okay. Then I can draft a card and they end step. I think that's reasonable. Man, we are getting close to death here. It's uh... It's getting dicey! It's getting dicey for sure. Shaper Sanctuary, oh that's a that's a good card opponent, that's a good card. <clears throat> More walls, scry draw. This is an opt stapled onto a 4-4. So I'd say that is a pretty good card right now. Um opt get a 4-4. Probably legacy viable. Swords, another one. Mm -hmm. We expect it as much because, you know, we're going to exile two cards, probably just two lands. <clears throat> um, I guess just more creatures, right? Maybe exiling two lands wasn't the brightest idea. Uh, because now I can't get an untapped... Yeah, I should have, like, turned Timber Symbiosis instead of the lands would have been better, so I now could have just went, like, Egg Light, get an untapped land if I so desire. The Castle Garen Brick came in clutch, but, you know... Yep, draw a card again. Oh! Would you look at that? It's our own Shaper Sanctuary. Um... So much mana do we have to work with here. Uh, we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um... One, three, four. Yeah, that, 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 that is fine. That is fine. Ten mana is absolutely fine here. Because now we could j just go Rutstein, Root Weaver, Snare Spinner, Sanctuary, all the good stuff. Mm hmm. Millicard. That's a blood token. I don't necessarily need that right now. Tobin's Veto, sure. That's fine. Put in more spiders into play. Balk you. Mm hmm. No attacks. Um. I feel like I'm dead here, but you know, not sure. Not sure. I don't even remember how many of these cards are conjured cards from Tome of the Infinite. Two? Maybe three? Something like that, maybe two. Okay, they fetch. Yep. More blue, yeah, for more counter spells. That's reasonable. <clears throat> and they still don't attack. I, sh I feel like they ju ju uh, should just brute force their way through me. Um, draw card. Man, Loth is just doing it, basically. Ooh, carrying rub. Um, yep. Cast Garden Brick. And we just go with Ishkana again. Just force her through all the counter spells. Like, you know, counter spell. Um,. Now we can go Acolyte of Affliction next turn and then just bring her back that way, but I feel like, yeah, next turn. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm not sure, I, am I, like I'm currently thinking maybe I just go Acolyte, return the Shaper Sanctuary to draw cards if they um, do something along those lines. Dress. Yeah, okay. That does nothing here. Next fleece ram. Uh, this doesn't have defender notably, so that's pretty good. So they don't draw card for that specifically. Okay, Rutstein. I'm just slowly getting value. If I get a spider spawning at some point, that will be valuable down the road. I don't have too many creatures right now in the graveyard, to be precise. 
Zero? Yeah, that's uh, not a lot. Zero is not a high number. Guys, um, what does Rutsteam bring us here? Okay, nothing too much. Yep. Lol. Uh, I could also just get a uh, the crawling infestation back with the um, <laughs> My hatred acolyte. Yep. Sure, let's try that. Um, that should be enough mana to. Yeah, okay, you can go grub. I can go. I'm not. I'm not going to ball, uh, shock this. I mean, I I need my life total right now. Acolyte brings back um, my enchantment. The reason why I order it that way is um, if this sticks, but then they counter the grab, uh, I I can I still get a one one this turn. Like I do realize if I shock myself here with the tomb, I can use this blood token. But maybe I'm supposed to just play this tapped anyways um, and then cycle it maybe I can all oh, I can yeah true I milled a few cards here uh, got additional treasures hmm. I feel yeah I feel like I'm just going to use the blood token to get rid of this twin spill ah oh, it's it's two bodies though that's pretty big. It's two two threes with the metallic mimic as well. Um, that's not zero. Um, is that worth it? Probably not. Yep, me and myself. Always take action here. Oh, that would have been pretty good though. Um, not gonna lie. Oh, there is a fatal push. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, anyways, plus you again. Oh, ransack the lab. Huh. So this actually just takes my whole turn, basically. So I'd rather be careful. Like, I want to play this when I don't lose on board immediately. Ooh. Ooh, would you look at that? It's a Zoni. Activate this now. Um, and then I can spend the rest of the creature only mana on Twin Silk Spider. So I should have started on Spider if they counter it, but like I, I doubt it. Like I doubt that they will ever counter the Spider. Like if they don't counter a Zoni, right? That doesn't matter. Uh, I can always spend a treasure to play Fatal Push here um, to guarantee that a permanent left. Uh, the battlefield this turn and then I can remove Arcades um, if they just try to I'm just chilling um, I'm just chilling um, in end step I'm going to activate a zone to sacrifice one of these insects to gain one of um but yeah I can try to remove Arcades try to here because I think they have a bunch of counter spells but you know uh, oh 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 is that the opening window I wanted but killing a Cadiz doesn't do too much here right now. Like, it matters. Like, they just replay it and then they don't care, right? Um, I removed it one time, so it's like... Oh, they also have a Resolute. Again, Resolute Watchdog. I have to remember that. I think... Um, at, yeah, at some points I just, like, Fatal Push the Watchdog. But maybe that isn't even good because the Shaper, Shaper Sanctuary draws them a card immediately. Hmm. Not the not the best situation. Maybe I'm also just overly cautious. Yeah, I think I was supposed to maybe attack in with the carrying grub because now it's like a big threat and they have to block with one of the walls, but then again they just need to block with one of the walls. Um They're hovering cards. Um mass manipulation, I can see that happening, but yeah, that would be extremely backbreaking. Commit memory, sure. I think I'm supposed to discard the fatal push at the end of the day to the blood token. Let's see what they do. Okay, blood. Um. Wait. Um. 
no cancel um because what we're going to do here is we're just so this is second from top correct so now we because i i don't want to i really don't want to mill it so what's happening now is i'm drawing a card of a zoning I'm going to sacrifice the blood token to discard the fatal push in my upkeep, uh, drawing the loath before I... Uh, I think that's fine, right? Yeah, that's fine. Because I can still just... Yeah, I can draw from the clue, I can discard with the blood token. Every, everything's good. Um, so upkeep stop. All the triggers are on the stack. Use the blood token, discard fatal push. I just don't see it happening with the red loop watchdog and the shaper sanctuary. And I get my loath back. And obviously they counter it, right? But you know. It's kind of okay. Bloodstein triggers as well. Yep, yep. Uh command tower. Um Loth gets countered. Maybe I activate my clue token first. Mm-hmm. I should have played this land here. I don't use the mana this turn. Ooh, Loth happens. Um, and I immediately minus, I guess, just to create a bigger board presence. Um, yeah, I guess I can swing in with the carrion grub. You know, sometimes you wish you had an uncounterable crater of behemoth. Yeah, th this is one of those moments. Um, yeah, swing with carrying rub. Because then I get loyalty on Loth if they block it. We are grinding this game out. Till the bitter end. How many cards are... Oh, I only have 47 cards left. Um, I only have 9 creatures in deck though, that kind of unlucky. Okay, Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs? Oh, what does that do again anyways? But, uh, he... The opponent doesn't create, uh, have a desert anyways, right? Yeah, no desert. Um, So the way I win this is get a bunch of creatures in the graveyard and then spider spawning. Okay, Light of Hope destroys the enchantment. That's kind of sad. Um, I really just want to mill myself more and more and more, but now I just have the Rutstein. Um, next, uh, yeah, yeah. Next turn, I start just playing Ishkana again, and then just drafting cards from that spellbook. Uh, there are some really good cards like um, Hatchery Spider in there. Just seven mana, Undergrowth. Um, then, oh, Fateful Absence, Killing Loth. That's all good, all fine, all dandy. Um, I draw a card of that. Do they swing in now? Probably not, I'd assume. What of my graveyard has six power anyways? I'm just confused right now. Oh, e yeah, Egon has six power, that's why the grub is so big. Um, Activate you. And uh, I believe, sure, get this countered. Um, I play an untapped land, I play a faceless agent or an obelisk spider, I'm not sure which one yet. Oh, it resolved. Yeah, now I go with tap land and I can um, start generating value here with Ishkana. Um, I do believe that they have a swords to plowshares though. So if I swing all in, um, trying to kill them, then they kill Ishkana. That just backfires so I just try to like whittle them down here with the carrying grab <clears throat> I can also just spend two treasures on getting something from the spell book but I believe the treasures are best used if I really need to play Ishkana again and then something else in the same turn that is probably the best use here <clears throat> Man, this is jank city out here, battling to the death. Um, how they can also just memory and then make me reshuffle my graveyard. That would also actually suck. So... Yeah, I have to watch out for that. Wait, they give it indestructible this turn? <gasps> They're board wiping. 
Oh my. Um. Wait. Oh fuck. I. Mm, ah. I wanted to activate. I clicked on this instead of the top right thing for some reason. Um. But honestly, the situation is not so bad. I could have drafted a card from the spellbook, but you know, this situation is not too bad. Yep, Ish cannot again. And then I'd say Obelisk Spider, because that can actually just block the Arcades as long as they don't have removal for it. I'm just going to go to second main before I decide what I actually want to do here. Okay. And I really wanted that one card from the spellbook. Do they double force like me? Sure. Another force spike? Sure. So do I go to two here is the question. Do I go to two? Do I jump? Do I double block? My Ishkana just got replayed so often. Okay, now it's actually not that important to double block this because... Um, I need to jump, otherwise I die. Like, they can't just activate this so often that I just, you know, die. Um, Tom, don't get swords. And they got swords. That is awful. Um, not, not great, not great. Uh, Ishkana again. Hello, it is me, Ishkana. For 16 mana. Yes, hello. Let's go. Let's play. Um, I don't wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I'm at one. If they just activate assault formation over and over and over, right? So I'm not dead yet. If they have a buff that just gives like plus two, plus two from one mana, I'm dead. Dying. But I, I can't let this Ishkana die. Um. Tower defense, yeah. Yeah, I just had to gamble, basically. The additional drafted card wouldn't have helped much, probably. GG! We are done with the game, so I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. And um, yeah, that is basically the deck. Spider Tribal is a thing now in Historic Brawl. May not be the best thing, but it is a thing. Um, the main downfall, obviously, being that we don't have too many good spiders. Uh, like one or two or three maybe. <laughs> the rest is just usually a bit filler, but you know, Ishkana is pretty good and um, it can grind some games. Um, yeah, basically just an unfortunate end there in the last game, but um, I feel like if we had gotten some of our really good cards, like Rot Widow Pack earlier, like we never got to play this card. It's so sad, but like this is one of the good payoffs actually it's a bit expensive obviously but we could have just activated this like three four times and just outright killed the opponent last game so it is what it is can't do too much about it um yeah if you want to play this deck on a budget what do you need what can you cut all the good stuff um you, you don't need like cards like shape of sanctuary uh, right you don't necessarily need once upon a time all these cards you see here that are also on my staples crafting guide you should probably play so like Dark Ritual Inquisition, but they're not necessarily cornerstones of the deck. Um, probably the spider-specific cards are like, okay, but you can replace them with spiders. Nothing here is needed. Um, just like craft the good cards. Um, that's my advice here. Just, just craft the good cards, just craft lands, and uh, you're mostly fine, honestly. And obviously you need the commander uh, if you want to play the deck. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I think this is all I have for you today. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, stay safe.